So you've got maintenance plans. Plans from your mechanic, plans from your dentist, even your personal trainer. But what's the maintenance plan for your soul? Yeah, your soul. The part of you created to last forever. Defining everything about you. Your relationships, your words, your actions. And the only way to strengthen and nourish your soul is to connect with your Creator, learning from Him, talking with Him, committing to Him fully. When your soul gets a little TLC, everything else in your life gets healthier. But it takes time, and it takes a plan. That's what Resolve for More is all about. It's good to take care of your body. It's essential to take care of your soul. Hi friends, Pastor Ken here. As many of you know, the recent months have been a real season of renewal and rejuvenation in my own soul. I've been talking to you about that very openly, just about how I've been experiencing anew the joy of my salvation and the touch of the Holy Spirit and just feeling that resurgence of renewal inside my soul. But I don't just want a renewed soul for me, I want it for you, for all of us. That takes us back to where we started this year, 2017. You remember we had that challenge that we called Resolve for More. What are we talking about there? We're just referring to some tools for the spiritual toolbox that followers of Jesus have found particularly helpful over the years. What's the first one? Reading God's Word. Actually spending some time to go through every day a little portion of God's Word to actually meditate on it, to do a little writing, maybe to use the SOAP acrostic that we've talked about here, to actually get some fresh baked bread, so to speak, out of the oven that God wants for us to have each day. That's reading. And then the second one is praying. The power of, think of it, that we get to talk to the king of the universe and we can talk to him and pour out our hearts and we can listen for his promptings and his nudgings and his confirmation through his word. We get to have communication with him, praying. And as we engage in reading his word and talking with him, there's a welling up inside the soul that, that calls us to follow then with generosity, this sense of, you know what, I can't keep all this stuff in for myself. I gotta surrender now more of who I am and what I have for his purposes, for kingdom purposes, so that the gospel message can go out, so that gospel-oriented churches can be expanded and, and reach more people, so that the, the gospel can, can push the powers of darkness and evil back and bring the light of Christ into more people's hearts and souls which when we step into that generosity portion brings us kind of full circle because it's a step of faith to let go of some of the stuff that we have, that we own, that's ours, and to share it drives us back to needing to read his word some more and talk with him some more, which will lead us to generosity once again. Three great tools for the spiritual toolbox. Many of you have been using those uh, and engaged in those the first half of this year. If so, you just keep it up. Some of you, you started out well. You were going with it there in January and maybe a little February, but something came along, you got busy and you're like, I'm gonna get back to that, and, but you didn't get back to it. And then March and then April, and here we are at the halfway point in the year, starting the second half of the year today. I wanna invite you, I wanna challenge you, resolve for more. Why don't you step into it today? And the same for those of you who maybe you've come in since then. You weren't even a part of what we were talking about here. This is an opportunity for you to find an on-ramp right now and just say, you know what? I'm gonna use some of these tools that followers of Jesus have found particularly helpful to cultivating a healthy soul in their lives. That's really what I want for you. Well, I'm glad that you're here and it's a treat for us as it always is when we get to have 
Ben Stewart back to preach God's word. So let's welcome Ben as he comes to preach God's word to us right now. 